a lot of this film was done on green screen, mainly because of our budget and also Chris's insistence. But we did film quite a few things on location, such as the big battle scene. Alright, so one location shoot today. I want to hit Chris with this. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Good introduction. You dragged me to the shoot. Well, you, you said you'd do the I'm makeup. I'm not doing makeup yet. Yeah, but we're getting there. I've just got to do an incredible dive to the floor. <laughs> 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 Which is not going to go well. Oh, I'm going to I'm laugh. not very athletic. I'm going to laugh And I'm pretty you. sure the buttons are going to break on my waistcoat. <laughs> Um, it fit me really well, um, and then summer holidays happen. Honestly, that's weird. I need to like sit. sit. Yeah, preferably. Oh. So, what's the makeup thing we try to do for this? So, uh, no, yeah. these tell confidential. I know what you're doing. Yeah, but... I love the fact that there was just a lot of silence. We can only just point the camera. What you're doing? <laughs> you keep giving me well, shit for not having confidential. A bit strange. <laughs> this is weird. You... Um, no, so Chris has demanded that he looks like. Ashy? Yeah, like, oh, it's got to look like there's been an explosion. I've been caught in some of the rubble, but not bad enough to be cut. Because I realised we shot the, like, after bit on the green screen. And I didn't have any makeup. So it looked like I could have wiped it off. I made him drink uh, lime Pepsi so that I'd actually do it, because I wasn't going to do it if he didn't try it. Because we've had this argument before. I'll be honest, like... it, I'll be honest, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't drink it again. Though. It looks like there's dirt on it. Congratulations, I've done my job. Cool. Done. Nice. Yeah. Not quick as well. Yeah, I know. I'm talented. It's like you did. It's like you studied how to do makeup. Yeah, it's like I went to a <laughs> makeup school for two years. That's so weird. That's why I asked you. <laughs> I don't know anyone else that's been to makeup school. Two sacks. The other thing that might be good. Tiny bit of sweat. You're welcome. I mean, sweat. I mean, I do sweat quite a lot naturally. Oh, nice. <laughs> Doctor. 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 So how to find the oh, scenes, Mark? I'm in, I'm in the same feet as Chris, right here, like that, straight, absolute professional. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't yeah, be able to positive. tell he's never worked on a set before. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm the only one who's worked on a professional film set. I have. All right, me and Kenny are the only ones. Who I have been part of photo shoots and films when I was a kid doing tennis. I have. And I was actually a camera. I have. It's called making this fan film. I don't call this professional. <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a lot of professional equipment about. I'm sorry, I've got an IMDb page, bitch. So me too. <laughs> Why do you have one? He set it up. Because it's like Wikipedia, you could just set them up. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god. So the moment I found that out, I was like, right, well, all of this fan series is on there now. All right, I have a professional, like, fully set up IMDb. <laughs> and I'm on there as, like, executive producer, director, writer, composer. Chris was really insistent on having a fight scene, specifically a sword fight. Even in the early drafts of The Hard Time, when it was just big, one big film, in fact, actually two films, actually, well before the draft we ended up using to film the first product, he was insistent on having a sword fight. That's why the character of Alpha existed, just so we can have a sword fight. Yeah. Did you get it? Well, we weren't filming. We we're practicing. I know, but I'm filming you guys. Um, I just need Kenny to swing a bit closer to me. I think you're getting a bit worried you're going to actually hit me. Please hit him. If you do, I won't blame you. Be Mark, are you having fun? Yeah. I am Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Mark has a yeah. stick. <laughs> right. Going to need you to turn off. Press record on the camera. Oh, no. Dual camera. Right, are we in shot? I don't know. It's not on.
they're meant to be the professionals. so much about filming and fake choreography. Who would have known? As you can see, I prefer old fashioned ones. Mark, how do you feel the fighting is going? Yeah, good. Yeah? Good. Do you feel proud yeah. as the fight choreographer? It's more, it's more, because uh, I can see it from here, can't I? So it's a little bit different. Um, can we get it a bit closer? No. Please, can we get a bit closer? There we go! Yeah. Manners, bitch! <laughs> Alright, so we've just done the sword fight and you can tell these swords have kind of had a bit of a beating because... Hello, put... You can actually see the scuff marks on the paint that we that my sword has had. I tell you what, Kate did an ingenious thing with a ninja sword. I yeah. should say katana, why do I not say katana? Right. It's, cool. it's um, really floppy, yeah, but so I put a put drumstick put inside it. Put a drumstick inside it? So that it would stand up. Yep. So, so it would stand up on the side. So when you actually when we clash our swords, you can hear them clack. You hear the clack from this one. Can you edit that out slightly? So yeah. Well, I mean, I'll probably mute most of the clips. Yeah. Anyway, um, to put in sound effects and music. Like I said, like we said, we put a drumstick here in this sword. This is why. Oh my god. Yep. Fluffy, floppy. And like I said, this made the whole thing sturdy to the point you can see scuff marks on this blade. And in, I glued it together originally, but it's cracked the glue on this sword here. So yeah, this is this is solid. I have so first day film of us. Any thoughts? Any comments? Hopefully, I never have to do this. <laughs> no, it's been fun. Um, I haven't done makeup for a film. Or like any sort of thing in a while, so hopefully this looks okay on camera. Chris could edit it and make my work look shit. And now I get to watch him fly a drone, which is going to be entertaining to say the least, because mm. I can imagine this going wrong. So we have a drone. Oh. Do I know what it's going to rotate because of the girls. Uh, do you know what you need? So I need something for it to take off. Have you you got your palette? one of my makeup palette? Yeah, you take the palette. Yeah. Because when it hits grass. This is where being the makeup friend comes in handy. <laughs> How much money do you want to bet that it bro they break it? <laughs> Five bucks. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> I reckon they break it. On multiple episodes, we have filmed in an alleyway. And we jokingly call it the famous alleyway because of not only the amount of times we've used it in the past, but also in our very first attempt of doing a fan series back when we were in high school, we actually shot the regeneration story there. The story of, at the time, the 11th Doctor regenerating to Chris's Doctor, who would have been considered the 12th Doctor at the time. That's what we were calling it at the very start. We were calling it the 12th era, which is now completely aged like milk. But either way, the first thing we shot, at least the first episode we completed, was mainly set in that alleyway. And so Chris found it all the more fitting to have his regeneration scene start in that alleyway. Doctor? Doctor? Doctor. 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 